Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Cosmina and in today's video, sorry, I know a lot of people are starting with their drinks and their favorite drinks lately and um, I thought I should do that too because I love LaCroix. Sorry, I'm not um, some magical whip cream coffee maker. I just have LaCroix. I love this thing, me and Rylan. But uh, yeah, today we are going to play with some makeup, but we also am going to show you everything I got for my birthday from Sephora. I bought a lot of stuff and I'm excited to show you everything I got. There's a big box filled with goodies. So I'm going to start with Ordinary. Ordinary, I got three things from Ordinary. And um, I'm kind of excited about it. But this is, I'm going to start with this. The Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGGG, which reduces appearance of eye contour, pigmentation, and puffiness, which I love. I actually tried this a uh, few days and I do really like it also another thing that I absolutely love this is the most expensive item from their brand so I was like well that has to work really nice doesn't it so this is the ordinary buffet plus copper peptide 1% multi technology peptide serum and this one it's supposed to be um, trade it's supposed to help with fine lines with wrinkles with dynamic lines and also textural ir irregularities which yes please <laughs> that would be so helpful so this is that and another thing that I got it's um high adherence silicone primer this was only like three or four dollars and uh, I bought it because I wanted to see how it is. Um, I tried it once. I wasn't that really happy with it, but we're going to try it again too. Another skincare item that I did purchase is this one. It's Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask Brightening and Firming. I did use this few nights and it is nice, but I mean, I don't know. It's... um. It's way smaller. I thought it's gonna be bigger, but it's super small. Like, I thought this is gonna be so much bigger. And this was really pricey, but it did come with a little, did come with this tiny little spoon. And uh, I do like it. And I tried it a few times, I do enjoy it. We'll see how it's gonna go, but I'm excited to have this in my collection because I do need to take care of more of my under eye area and I'm glad to have something that I can apply at night and work really nice and in the morning to have something really bright on my skin. My skin will be really nice and bright. We're gonna apply the caffeine and also I'm gonna apply the buffet copper. Let me show you the copper. This one actually, it's really cool because it has like, it's a more like a bluish type thing. Let me show you. Check this color right there. It's really interesting. So I'm gonna push this in my skin. It doesn't, it doesn't have a scent to it. It doesn't smell like anything but it gets into your skin really fast and it looks really nice and for the eyes we're gonna go with the 5% the caffeine solution 5% and this one is really nice as well it kind of looks the same very similar packaging, very simple packaging. And this one doesn't have a blue. This is more like a yellowish tint. And this one gets into your skin really fast as well. And Although I do put this serum, I still don't skip an eye cream. So I do like to put an eye cream afterwards. And I'm going to go with 
Neurad Hydration Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. Keeps my skin, my under eye area very hydrated and uh, moisturized. So yeah, that's how it looks right now. As for uh, my uh, my skin, I'm gonna apply a little bit of Bliss Drench and Quench Cream to Water. I love this cream. I love this moisturizer. It just goes into your skin so nice and gives that all that thirst, that hydration thirst that your skin has if you're dehydrated like I am. <laughs> but it is really nice on the skin. We're going to go further with yeah, foundation. So this uh, I actually threw away because I used it once and I threw away the packaging for some reason. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Um, but this is Pretty Vulgar Foundation Cool IF Lava Water Foundation. This was on my wish list for a long time. Ever since it came out and I saw Tati Beauty using it. Um, Tati Westbrook using it. I was impressed to the core. I was like, oh my god, I really want that foundation. I don't know how it's gonna look on me, but I really, really, really do want, want that foundation. And, um, I don't know. <laughs> it, I tried it and it was not, it didn't look too great. But uh, we'll try it again today. I am uh, hoping it was just some day that... Because you know how it is. Like some days your skin can look really awesome with some, with certain foundation. And some other days when let's say you're a little bit more dehydrated. Or you tried something different. I don't know. It's like it's your skin doesn't react the same. You know, it's every day is completely different. So I'm going to go with this Ordinary High Adhere Silicone Primer, but just a tiny bit, and I'm just going to press it all over my skin like that. Let's go with foundation. I am going to try to make this video as fast as possible because I am um, trying to get somewhere today. So I am going to go really fast these are two pumps i'm just gonna put two pumps i don't want to apply too much because last time when i used it i i saw that uh a little goes a long way and you don't want to apply too much on it i'm gonna use a sonia kasha 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 sponge which is really good you can find this at target so last time when I used it, it was a little bit drying, um, also it oxida uh, it's oxidating a lot, but it is uh, it was a little bit drying on my skin and it was showing my imperfection really bad and also was looking a little bit cakey, but then again, I did apply it a lot last time and I'm hoping this time because I am not applying that much is gonna look better and I think it does I do feel like I need a little bit more just kind of to um, cover a little bit more on my skin but I'm not gonna do that because I know it looks a little bit cakey we're gonna leave it on and we're gonna check on it during the day I'm gonna come back and show you during the day how it looks but i'm just gonna leave it like that i don't have anything new in there as a concealer so i'm gonna go off camera put concealer on and back come back all right so i set up my face but uh now i need to set up my under eyes and i'm gonna go with hourglass a veil transloading setting powder this one was on my wish list for a long time but i have never made myself buy it because the price tag it is pretty high i mean honestly it is too damn much for the translucent powder but this one i was able to find it in a mini size this one has how much it is in it it is only 0.7 fluid ounces or two grams of product which i'm glad i get the chance to try it and see how it is because you never know it's like what if i do buy it and then i really really hate it okay let's do this it is very finely milled it is a really nice setting powder 
for the under eye area. I did try that before. And I did try to um, set my face, my entire face with this one, and I did not like it. I prefer it to put this only, to set it only with under my eyes and not all over my face. Because it does leave a cast, like a white cast on it, although it's translucent. Um, but also it does not, I feel like it doesn't give me the coverage that I need and it doesn't, stop my oils showing up so um i do enjoy it a lot for the under eye area only all right so eyebrows are done they're looking a little bit more crazier i'm keep trying to every day to see what i can work with and what shape should i give them because i do let them grow right now during the growing process so it's gonna look a little bit crazier for the next few videos but bear with me okay um this are the um, the colors in this these are the colors right here in this uh, beautiful little palette and I am really excited to play with it we're gonna go with breakdown and pry, um, apply this all over my eyelid I haven't tried any any of the eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay this is my very first Urban Decay eyeshadow palette so I'm really interested to see how this formula is it seems to go really nice on my eyelids so that's good i am gonna go next with subway and just apply this above my crease in my crease i'm gonna go with tunnel oh yeah that blended really nice no fallout so far and then i am gonna go a little bit with this g train this green color in the oh uh, more in the outer corner Then I am going to go with this color right here, Jolt. And then I'm going to take that with my finger and just apply it right here. A little bit on that green as well. Right in the center of my eyelid. I apologize for my dog. There's something going on in the street. So he hears it. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I am kind of surprised. I don't have not even one tiny bit of fallout on my eye. Which, I mean, that is uh, pretty insane. The inner corner of my eyelid, I'm going to go with City Kitty. A little bit more sheer than what I want. Um, but we're just gonna go with that and then let's see maybe I can put a little bit of the breakdown too yeah combined together they look better now let's try tunnel and then I'm gonna go with a little bit with t-rex and night trip too that way we used every single one of them All right, so that's that. I do like it. I do like the formula. It was really nice to blend in. Also, they are very nice on top of each other. I didn't have any fallouts until the end. I think the Sita Limit, it's a little bit more, more flaky, but all the other shades were really nice. Now, let's go with mascara. I got a mascara. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag. Finally, I was like, yes, I want to try it. I want to see how it is, but I do not want to pay the full price on it. So I got another mini. I did try this one actually the other day. And for me, it's 
I feel like it looks it's very very similar this is how the uh, brush looks like it's really nice um, but for me I feel like it looks very similar to what um, better than sex mascara looks like from Too Faced and so this is how it looks like guys it's a really amazing uh, mascara but I told you it reminds me a lot a lot of that better than sex mascara so I have this thing they gave me this birthday they say the happy birthday I had to choose whatever I wanted to get and they uh, gave me this milk makeup which is let's see what is in here we're definitely not going to use anything from this but this is a mini Kush mascara a mini leap and chick uh, oh, I actually got that in my um, in boxy charm this month. Oh, cool. Oh, this is I like it because this is a darker shade. Yes, this is called Work, and then this is a Kush mascara, and then I have a sample of the Hydro Grip Primer right here. So this was free, yay, me. <laughs> Other thing that I did got, there's two more Hourglass items. I really wanted to get Hourglass and um, to have it in my collection. So I did got a bunch of things from them. Um, let's put this Lightning Blush. This one looks so beautiful. I love this color. It is really gorgeous, really gorgeous. All right, we have that going. And then another thing that I did got, I got an ambient lighting powder dim light, which is really nice as well. That's the color that I got it. This one again, it's a mini. I'm gonna go with this under my eye. So beautiful, it gives you just that, a little bit of glow. There's two more things, but this is really one exciting thing that I'm really, really excited to try. This is finally my first item from Charlotte Tilbury is the Pillow Tuck Lip Kit. I saw this was selling for 25 bucks. I was like, yes, it is a mini. But I don't care. I have so many lipsticks. I mean, like, I can, I will never be able to purchase, I will never be able to use them up. These, how they look like. I mean, these are okay. It's a nice, uh, this is how much I have in here. Oh, it's plenty enough for me. And then we have the lip pencil right here. And I'm excited to try it. To be honest, it doesn't look like anything special to me. Pencil is a little bit dry, to be honest with you. It doesn't, I have, I have some that are definitely a better formula than this. This one is really expensive, okay. And then the lipstick I had to go over for like two or three times to actually cover my uh, natural lip color, which is kind of weird because you would expect a lot more than just that, you know what I mean? It's Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, no, it's, um... I was expecting a little bit more, you know, it's just a little bit more. All right, next thing that I got in here, this is a Bum Bum International Jet Set. I am so excited. I did had one of this Bum Bum creams a while back and I know it smells so divine. 
it's like it's like so good so 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 good and when i saw this on their website that they were selling this set i was like yes i need to have it so it has this um fast absorbing body cream soldier nero and then it also has love it flaunted you got it in brazil showering is more of a treat than a routine so this is Brazilian for play moisturizing shower cream gel. It's great. And then this is I'm really excited about because this one it's smelling so great. And this is a spray corporal perfume body fragrance. Yes, I am gonna use this today. Actually. Oh, smells so good. So 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 good. All right, you guys, so this is, that's all I got for you today. I know this has been a little bit of a longer video. It was longer than what I anticipated, but this is how everything looks like. I did not apply any bronzer because I don't want to do that today. I'm just going to leave it like this, but I'm, I'm going to come back and going to show you during the day how everything stays on my face and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Alright you guys, so this is how it looks in natural lighting. Uh, it looks really nice. I do like it. It does cleanse the foundation. It cleans a little bit on my dry spot spots and also on my little pimples over here. But overall, it looks really good. The eyeshadow, gorgeous. Um, the blush, really nice. But yeah, this is how it looks like. What do you think? I like it. So we'll see you in a few hours. All right, guys. So we are four, four and a half hours in. at 7.30 p.m. And this is how my skin looks like. I can see there's things around here. I ate a lot, so I might have some food going on. But yeah, still dry over here around that a little bit around my nose i see but not much not much and other than that everything still looks pretty good it's just around here where i have all these dry patches that it looks a little bit bad but other than that it looks pretty good and yeah you can see a little bit around my nose it's getting yeah here i think i have some dry patches but yeah, around my nose is definitely getting a little bit, you know, starting to disappear a little bit. And then all around my mouth, but I did ate. The lipstick is gone. It's a little bit of the lip liner that is left. But yeah, pretty much that's how it looks like right now. Four or five hours in. I'm going to catch up with you in, in another few hours. Right, guys, so we are back again with another checking to see how it looks like. Still looks pretty good. Not too bad, this foundation. Yeah, still around my nose the same way. Around here, the corners of my mouth. But other than that, still looking pretty good. I am breaking out over here. Well, that's a different story. But yeah still looking good and this is a natural lighting um but that's how it looks like right now it's been like almost six hours in all right i will see you in a few hours all right guys so this is the last checking i had this makeup on for almost it's almost 12 so i had it for 10 hours or so so this is how it looks like. Um, my eye makeup still stays the same. It did not crease or anything like that. Uh, the blush kind of disappeared a little bit during the day. I still have some, but it's not as bright as it was this morning or when I apply this foundation, this uh, blush. The foundation disappeared over here, but I did a ramen, so. I was expecting that. Also, you can see some disappearing over here. Mm. And I think that that's it. I think a little bit around my nose, yeah, disappeared over here. 
probably when I touched it. But yeah, basically that's how it looks right now. It did, it's oxidating a little bit during the day. So around here it did oxidate a little bit. But that's how it looks like. It's not bad. I mean, I was expecting it to be a little bit more gross looking. But it's not. It's actually looking uh, pretty good for like 10 hours. And I, there have been 10 hours that I did a lot of things and just didn't sit around. Um, yeah, this is how it looks like. The lipstick disappeared immediately. The Look at this. Um mascara i did flaked a little bit so i didn't do anything around my under my eyes didn't clean anything but it did flaked a little bit but not much not much at all so yeah this is how everything looks like thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time with another video i'm really tired bye